in fashion now for almost seven years, so um, I have a good relationship. I hope they would say the same about me, but um, you know, I've been working and traveling in this industry for quite some time, so um, I love it. I love my job. Uh, right now I'm studying for all my finals for school and I'm working on a charity project that's going to launch in September to um, bring solar panels to clinics in Haiti and Rwanda and, um, you know, working and traveling always. Um, I think I think couture really exists kind of in its own little planet, but in terms of you know the collections of prêt à porter and then more I don't know mass fashions that circulate, um, I would say that there isn't much of a line anymore. You know even the designers themselves who design the clothes, you often see them in their own designs, but then you know a very simple T-shirt and jeans. So um, I think that there's really a big kind of almost like symbolic exchange going on between all of these brands and they definitely feed off of each other you know you can't say that prêt à porter influences them um, you know lower you know mass brands or mass brands affect prêt à porter it's kind of this interesting melange where everything works together and then i think couture kind of exists in its own little world where it's beautiful and i, I never wear couture so I, I love to look at it and i love to feel it and appreciate the craftsmanship but it's not something that i wear I wear usually, you know, t-shirts and jeans. I'm also a student in school, so I always kind of dress for that. Um, but I, you know, I, I, I go out and I buy t-shirts and jeans and, you know, nice shoes that I like, even like Repetto shoes, but then I also like to invest in one really beautiful piece every season, like whether it's a nice little jacket or a sweater or a beautiful belt, because I think that it's nice to have that one little touch, that one little timeless piece that, you know, then stays in your closet forever. Um, I love handmade, Things I think it's great to have that connections with the artisans who make it. Um, you know, I have um, shoes that are uh, sandals that are Saint Jacques and they're made handmade in Saint Tropez, and I love them and they last forever. But I also love, you know, that I can go shopping and buy some fun things for the summer and I can kind of <laughs> use and abuse them and they're fun. And then I can, you know, go out in winter and buy some new little pieces here and there. It's nice. Luxury for me today is a little bit of peace and quiet because I'm constantly working and traveling and I'm still finishing my master's degree. So anytime I get um, you know, a moment where I can be at home in New York and spend time with my boyfriend and my friends and my family, that's luxurious for me. And coming back to your past, do you remember the first time you have been a model, your, your impression? I was totally terrified when the first time I was a model. It's very scary, it's very weird, I mean it takes you really two years to kind of get used to um, what it's like to be in front of a camera and what it's like to be, you know, looked at all the time. And um, But then, you know, then you get used to it and you kind of develop your own confidence and then you're able to develop your own image or identity a little bit more. But for the first two years, it was pretty terrifying. And another thing, uh, once you were the, the, the daughter of, today you are Electra, just Electra. Oh, it, thanks. Well, I cared, yeah, I, I frankly cared very much, you know, I also started modeling in a moment where there was a lot of, um, you know, daughters of coming into the business and I also came into the business also when there was like Paris Hilton started becoming very famous and I very much, you know, I don't think badly of her, but I very much did not want to go down that road and I very much did not want to be portrayed as that and I thought at the time that if I was going to be a model, I was going to be a model on my own terms and it was really important for me to, um, you know, be known for me and not for like something else that is part of me, but you know, is part of me because they're my family. Um, so yeah, I, th I hope. What means for you to be a testimonial of a brand? Um, it's very flattering, you know, and uh, you... You, I, I mean, I only say yes to brands that I really believe in and that I really want to be a part of. So, um, you know, when Mango asked to collaborate with me and have me be in their catalog, I said yes right away because I think their brand is great. They've always got very diverse collections every season. Their clothes are very versatile and very well made. So I was very happy to um, be a part of their lookbook. I don't think it means, you know, to be serious. I just think, you know, Paris Hilton works a lot too. She has a lot of jobs and she makes, you know, she's having a fabulous time too. It's just a question of what's good for you and that's great for her but not great for me and 
um, you know, but when I come here to Mango, it's not like if I was serious, they would like hate me because I don't think Mango is serious. You know, they don't want a serious, boring person. They want somebody who's energetic and young and, you know, light. So I hope that I bring a little bit of that quality too. But I don't know, you'd have to ask them. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>